Dear Grumo students, my name is Miguel Hernandez, the founder of Grumo Media, and I'm going to teach you how to zoom and pan and show keystrokes using ScreenFlow screen recording software. The first thing you're going to do, if you want to zoom in, just select whatever you want to zoom in. In this case, is the video capture of my webcam. And then go to wherever in the timeline you want to zoom in, let's say here. Go to video properties, select add video action, and then go to scale and zoom. What's happened is that if we zoom in here on the timeline, we can see a little yellow vertical bar has been created, and that is the transition. It's being created by you, and by default it's about one second or half a second long, right? So if we go before, we can see how it originally was, and after the transition, and they don't have so much money for it, it becomes big. If we want another, uh, an, an, uh, add another transition, same thing. Just click the add video action, and we can go back to 100 if we want to. And also, we can move it, and that movement also will be recorded. So let's go back to before it was shrinked. The now play, if they cannot afford and the transition has been made very simple but it's not a lot of people don't know how to do this in fact it took me a while to figure out this because in other programs you have to set an in and an out and it's more complex but they've made it very simple in screen flow so that's uh, for zooming uh, and also if you want to move from one side to a side one side to another side for example uh, let's say I want to move uh, uh, to here well, this is what's going to happen. I've already created a panning from right to left, from right to left movement because anything that you do after the transition becomes now, animated if, if during the transition. The so if I want to go and move it to the right, I add another transition, add video action, move it, and guess what? If we go back to where it was, demo video or you can it's been animated you can do that with absolutely every of these parameters you can rotate it change the opacity for example if I'm, I want th this to disappear now I could add another transition yet right and then turn the opacity to zero and this is what's gonna happen you how to boom you can see a great it's course been I'll teach you how to do it. removed if you don't like that transition you just select it and press the delete key and those transitions will be deleted to have the video original look, originally looked. So that's for zooming and panning. Now, how about showing the keystrokes? That's quite simple. All you have to do is select the track with the actual screen recording, which usually is going to say screen recording. The other one is the webcam capture. So the screen recording, select that and then go to screen recording properties and make sure you show you click on show keys pressed and if you click on modify keys pressed then you'll be able to see keys like shift control or alt so in this case I just have the, the show keys control pressed now if I type anything right you should be able to see it I'll teach you the basics that I use to create I'm the videos a bunch of stuff. that you see I don't know on what's my happening. site. And some uh, of them have been quite Anyways, simple. that's all you have to do. Click the show keys pressed and then the keystrokes will be shown on your screen flow recording. I hope you learn a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.